Good morning, my dear friends, on this Holy Thursday morning. And I welcome you to morning prayer. <clears throat> we begin by lighting our candle, especially for the whole family of God, our brothers and our sisters. We light this light to symbolize the crucified Christ who died to set us free from selfishness, from sinfulness, and from disobedience to the will of God. But we also light this light in celebration of all that you are as a beloved of God, a co-creator of the divine. And we begin our morning prayer with the prologue of our brother and sister Essenes of Mount Sinai. We enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly Mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Holy Thursday morning, we commune with the angel of water, saying, Angel of water, enter my blood and give the water of life to my whole body. As you say this, you contemplate the waters of earth in rain, rivers, lakes, seas, or anywhere, and the currents of the angel of water are left intensifying and directing the circulation of the blood. And now we come to the traditional morning prayer, the office of lords, that is being said in every monastic house of men and women throughout the Christian world. Christ the Lord was tempted and suffered for us. Come, let us adore him. O God, come to my aid. O Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our Teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, <clears throat> as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Abroad the regal banners fly, now shines the cross's mystery. Upon it life did death endure, and yet by death did life procure. That which the prophet king of old hath in mysterious verse foretold is now accomplished whilst we see God ruling nations from a tree. Blessed tree, whose happy branches bore the wealth that did the world restore, the being that did that body weigh which raised up hell's expected prey. Hail cross our hope on thee we call, who keep this mournful festival. Grant to the just increase of grace and every sinner's crime efface. Bless Trinity, we praises sing, to thee from whom all graces spring. Celestial crowns on those bestow who conquer by the cross below. And the first antiphon of morning lords this Monday Thursday reads, Look, Lord, and answer quickly, for I am in distress. And we read Psalm 79 from the Old Testament Bible. O shepherd of Israel, hear us. You who lead Joseph's flock, shine forth from your cherubim throne upon Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. O Lord, rouse up your might. O Lord, come to our help. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Lord God of hosts, how long will you frown on your people's plea? You have fed them with tears for their bread, an abundance of tears for their drink. You have made us the taunt of our neighbours, 
<clears throat> excuse me, our enemies laugh us to scorn. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. To plant it, you drove out the nations. Before it, you cleared the ground. It took root and spread through the land. The mountains were covered with its shadow, the cedars of God with its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea. To the great river, it stretched out its shoots. Then why have you broken down its walls? It is plucked by all who pass by. It is ravaged by the boar of the forest, devoured by the beasts of the field. God of hosts, turn again, we implore. Look down from heaven and see, visit this vine and protect it, the vine your right hand has planted. Men have burnt it with fire and destroyed it. May they perish at the frown of your face. <clears throat> May your hand be on the man you have chosen, the man you have given your strength. And we shall never forsake you again. Give us life that we may call upon your name. God of hosts, bring us back. Let your face shine on us and we shall be saved. Now together let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. See now that God is my salvation. Oh, sorry, apologies. Look, Lord, and answer quickly, for I am in distress. And the second antiphon, see now that God is my salvation. I have trust and no fear. And now we read a canticle from the prophet Isaiah. I thank you, Lord, you were angry with me. But your anger has passed and you give me comfort. Truly God is my salvation. I trust I shall not fear, for the Lord is my strength, my song. He is my saviour. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Give thanks to the Lord, give praise to his name. Make his mighty deeds known to his peoples. <clears throat> Declare the greatness of his name. Sing a psalm to the Lord, for he has done glorious deeds. Make them known to all the earth. People of Zion, sing and shout for joy. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Together we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. See now that God is my salvation. I have trust and no fear. And the third antiphon, the Lord fed us with finest wheat. He filled us with honey from the rock. And now we read Psalm 80. Ring out your joy to God our strength. Shout in triumph to the God of Jacob. Raise a song and sound the timbrel, the sweet-sounding harp and the lute. Blow the trumpet at the new moon, when the moon is full on our feast. For this is Israel's law, a command of the God of Jacob. He imposed it as a rule on Joseph when he went out against the land of Egypt. A voice I did not know said to me, I freed your shoulder from the burden. Your hands were freed from the load. You called in distress and I saved you. I answered concealed in the storm cloud at the waters of Meribah, I tested you. Listen, my people, to my warning. O Israel, if only you would heed. Let there be no foreign god among you, no worship of an alien god. I am the Lord your God, who brought you from the land of Egypt. Open wide your mouths 
and I will fill it. But my people did not heed my voice, and Israel would not obey. So I left them in their stubbornness of heart to follow their own designs. Oh, that my people would heed me, that Israel would walk in my ways. At once I would subdue their foes, turn my hand against their enemies. The Lord's enemies would cringe at their feet, and their subjection would last forever. But Israel I would feed with finest wheat, and fill them with honey from the rock. And let us pray the glory together. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord fed us with finest wheat. He filled us with honey from the rock. And from Monday, Thursday, we have special prayers and a reading. And the first reading is from Paul to the Hebrews. We see in Jesus one who is now crowned with glory and splendor because he submitted to death. By God's grace, he had to experience death for all mankind. As it was his purpose to bring a great many of his sons and daughters into glory, it was appropriate that God, for whom everything exists and through whom everything exists, should make perfect through suffering the leader who would take them to their salvation. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the short response read, You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood, from every tribe and tongue and people and nation. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. You have redeemed us, Lord, by your blood. And the Benedictus Antiphon, I have longed to eat this Passover with you, before I suffer. Let us now together, my dear friends, say the Benedictus, the beautiful canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty savior in the house of David, his servant, as he promised through his prophets from of old the Saviour who would free us from our sin, from the hands of all our enemies. So his love for our fathers is revealed and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and saved from the hands of our enemies, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. And as for you, little child, you shall become a prophet of God, the Most High. You shall go before the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation, to the forgiveness of sin, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. And he will give light to those who sit in darkness, to those who dwell in the shadow of death, he will guide them to the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I have longed to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. And now we come to our morning intercessions, and here I'd like to invite you to sit in silence in the presence of your God, and whatever lays heavy on your heart, name it, bless it, and release it with gratitude to your God. Let us humbly pray to Christ, the eternal priest, 
whom the Father, Mother, God anointed with the Holy Spirit to proclaim release for captives, response, Lord, have mercy on us. He went up to Jerusalem to endure the passion and enter into glory. Lead your church and all faiths into the Paschal Feast of Eternal Life, response, Lord, have mercy on us. Your heart was pierced with a lance, heal the wounds of our human weakness, response, Lord, have mercy on us. You made your cross the tree of life. Share your victory with all the baptized, response, Lord, have mercy on us. You gave salvation to the repentant thief, pardon all our sins, response, Lord, have mercy on us. This morning I would like to pray for dear Sister Jan's husband, John, who has been suffering severe back pain for several days or maybe a few weeks now. I would like us just to be still and to send a healing ray of divine love from our heart to John's spinal cord and right down his spine. And we invite the Cosmic Christ, the physician of our soul, to place his hands, for Jesus said, whatever you do in my name, you do for me. And whatever you ask for in my name, I will do for you. I ask, Lord Christ, that you now place your healing hand through Jan's hands on John, her husband. And I pray that John is given the courage to see a chiropractor, preferably a McTimony chiropractor, that will ease his discomfort and get him back on his feet. We thank you, Christ, for hearing our prayer. We pray for all of John's family. We pray for the brothers and sisters of our community who are unwell this Holy Week. For Sister Miriam in New Zealand, for Sister Sue in Blackpool. We pray for all our brothers and sisters. We pray for our friends, our benefactors, our enemies, and all the presenters on live stream. And we remember with Jan's Jampy and Sarah. And thank you, Jan, for prayers for myself and Rob. But we pray for you, dear Jan that like many light workers at this time, many of us are struggling with mental and physical exhaustion for no apparent reason. So we ask the Lord Christ to bless all who embrace the light of God's love and fill us with that renewed energy on Easter morning. Let us pray for all religions, for all faiths and none, for all religious leaders and for the whole family of God who are hurting in mind, body and spirit, for they are our brothers and sisters. And let us now bring all our prayers to the light of the Christ light, as we say, Our Father, Mother, God supreme, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive all those who've trespassed against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. And the prayer for Holy Week for Monday, Thursday is love of you with our whole heart. Lord God is holiness. Increase then your gifts of divine grace in us so that as in your son's death, you made us hope for what we believe. You may likewise in his resurrection make us come to you our final end. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, 
who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And that, my dear brothers, brings us, and sisters, brings us to the end of morning prayer this Holy Thursday morning. And I wish you every blessing. Namaste, shalom, inshallah, pax et bonum. Om Shanti, solo de caritas, salam alaikum, and may the peace of your God empower you this day. Sense the love of your God. Go in peace to love and to serve your God. Amen.